So I'm a rabbi and uh, I'm professionally a biologist. I work on restoring native ecosystems and work on preserving endangered species and endangered habitats. And um, long, long ago, I actually was an organic farmer. And uh, most recently, in the last couple of summers, I've created and, and maintained a very large organic garden and taught children Torah through the work of um, growing food and flour. The whole work of, of GMOs, of, of mixing species of different kinds together, like plants and animals together, that whole work causes us to think as if and believe as if that we are as powerful as the Creator is. They're actually uh, splicing genes from one species into the uh, DNA of another of another species, and sometimes this can occur uh, a, a, a plant gene into an animal gene, and and vice versa. The thing is, is that the is that the Creator has given us these tools and people. Uh, uh, brilliant minds to be able to figure this out and 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 some people would say well why why shouldn't you know we've been given this gift why shouldn't we why shouldn't we use it and I think that what the Torah is teaching is humility you have to have you're given tools we're told in in Genesis in Breshit to that we were put in the Garden of Eden to put were put on earth to till the land to 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 eat from it but also to take care of it. And when we step out of that role, we step out of humility and we, are, 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 we begin to think of ourselves as, as too important and too, pow and too powerful. And we need to moderate that, that potential. GMOs, the genetically modified organisms, I think are, are, are dangerous. Um, from what I understand, they're dangerous uh, biologically. They're, they're dangerous to our bodies, um, but they're also, I think, dangerous spiritually. They they pose for humanity a spiritual um, crisis. The Torah speaks clearly about um, not mixing species. For example, um, in Deuteronomy, it says. <coughs> that when you have a vineyard that you're not allowed to plant other types of seeds within your vineyard and when you're plowing in a field you're not allowed to plow with two different types of animals and you're not allowed to mix uh, clothing that has wool and linen in it and all of these laws from the Torah I think what they're getting at is the work of creation, that is the creation of species, whether they be animals, plants, human beings, is really in the work. Of, it is really in the realm of God. It's God's work, and it's not for us to to mess with that. Um, our role is to be partners with God in creation, but not to take over. If something can do damage to our bodies or the bodies, the health of our children then we need to be able to make a conscious choice about whether we're going to consciously do potential harm to ourselves, to our children, to our grandchildren. Without that information, how would we know? Most of us grew up and innocently could go to the market and buy an apple or buy a potato and make a meal out of it and trust that we were providing good food for, for ourselves, for our children. And now, if you can't if you can't trust the food that you eat, then how can you how can you take care of your children, your most precious thing to you? How can you do that? So the labeling is a way where you can make that you can make that conscious choice. What are the values that that God would want us to impart? It might be something like this: it might be love, justice, truth, and beauty. And what I'd like to suggest is the use of GMOs is a violation of all of those. It's a violation of love, it's a violation of justice, it's a violation of truth, and it's a violation of beauty. And 
for this for the sake of humanity for the sake of doing our playing our part doing our role with with God with Hashem then let's let's at the very least label the food so we know what's kosher and what's not and let's 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 consume food with a with a consciousness um, towards health 